I know that the biggest mistake made when it comes to launching a product or service or a new feature comes from not having a specific plan, right? Nobody really knows what done looks like. So lots of options look great and lots of energy can be spent going in lots of different directions that don't actually get us to our goal. And um, my name is Amelia. I'm owner of Solutions by Amelia, and I have spent lots of time working with organizations, large and small, Fortune 200 companies, NGOs, the government, solopreneurs, and there are specific themes that I have kept seeing time and time again. And I want to do a video to address um, biggest mistakes I've seen when it comes to approaching product marketing, um, marketing a service, marketing a new feature. And um, I'm going to give you tools that actually work in real life. This is not something from a webinar. This isn't something I learned in a college course um, 10 years ago and haven't ever used because I you know, worked on a day job where um, they had a marketing and sales team. I didn't really have to do anything like that, even though that was my degree. That wasn't my degree. Um, my degree was actually in healthcare, right? Actually in healthcare. So um, I had to learn about sales and marketing to get my own business off the ground, to make enough revenue, to take care of financial goals. And I want to share some best practices with you and also share importantly, more importantly, how I find best practices. So you can use this on your own as you look at the project, product that, project that you're working on now and on projects that you might be working on in the future. So everything starts with a project plan. Now they call this a project scope sheet, worksheet. You might call it something else, but it's a project plan essentially. And this is not something I made up. This is from um, Business Made Simple. Um, it's an offshoot of um, one of Donald Miller's products. He has um, Story Brand, Building a Story Brand, which is a great book if you're figuring out um, your messaging. And if you don't want to be confusing to other people, if you want people to buy from you, that's a great book to look at. But in any case, he came out with a book called Marketing Made Simple, another great book I've read, and Business Made Simple. Also an awesome book, right? So um, if you want to get this worksheet, you can go here. I believe it's free, but the website is just www.executionmadesimple.com. And I'll have um, a link to um, that website there. But in any case, um, so we're at a project um, scope worksheet. And it really makes sense to, if you are, even if you're just trying to figuring out what sort of marketing support you need, or if you have a marketing team and you might need to bring on additional support to, um, to, for a specific launch that's coming up, if you're trying to plan a launch, I'm going to give you resources that you can use. But before that, I wanted to give you a framework in which to put these resources. So, um, basics, the name, what does success look like, where is done. Um, lots of times we talk about getting there, but the challenge can be where is there. And so actually spelling that out so that all people on the team, even if you're hiring vendors, um, knows what success looks like, that can be super helpful. And I've seen that missing in projects that um, have been done with established companies and and long story short, I just know that it's just something that we just don't think about sometimes, and that's okay. So that's what this is here for. Um, what resources do you need to complete the project? Um, these could be people resources. These can be technical resources. These can be um, uh, monetary resources. Just list all the resources that are needed to complete the project because this happens too. We get started with a project, um, a launch, and we find out that we don't have something we need and we're already too far in. And so then we end up, you know, buying the first thing or hiring somebody that has a pulse and availability. And that can sometimes not turn out so good. So um, who are the key players and what are their responsibilities? So who is involved with what, you know, and um, this is sort of can be related to the resources, like who is responsible for obtaining the resources, or it can not be related. And this could be just players. I like matching the resources needed with who's responsible for securing those resources and the um, deliverables that they'll have related to going out and finding stuff. And um, of course, deadlines, not deadlines, but timeline are milestones. Um, you know, there's, for, there's things that need to be done typically first, second, and third. Um, when it comes to projects, um, especially visibility projects, I enjoy starting with the end in mind. So if we want to get in front of, I'll just use a recent example. I just did a um, a YouTube video on this. So if we want to get in front of 10,000 new people, that might look like finding five people who have audiences of at least 2,000 each. That breaks that um, that goal of getting in front of 10,000 new people down to something that I feel like is very manageable. So, um, 
you know, what do we need to have together before we start doing outreach to these people? Well, early on, it would make sense to have our messaging together so that we know what we're inviting these um, influencers or micro influencers into. It would make a lot of sense to have our messaging and talking points together. Or if we're doing cold calls or cold emails, messaging really needs to come first. So you might say, okay, that's great. Um, what does messaging look like? I want, and what tools do I, I use? So I'm going to address both of those things. So over here, this is um, a, a quite a gift that Tom, um, I communicated with him on LinkedIn and he said, call me Tom. So I'm calling him Tom, but um, Tom Dong gave, and I want to share this with you. And so this is from, this is on LinkedIn and I'll have a link here, of course. Um, but long story short, the four essential templates for building and scaling um, product marketing. And um, how perfect is this? So he explains a lot about what product marketing is, and I'm not going to read this. You can read it on your own. But the templates that he gifted all of us with are templates to figure out the persona. Um, that is who you're speaking with and their and users and what they want to make sure that you resonate with them and um, customer journey. Um, what are some of the things that they go through before they get to you um, alongside working with you and after they leave you um, and messaging, uh, messaging, figuring out how that looks and battle cards. These are t talking points to have as you're um, going out and selling stuff. It can be really great to have reference points related to common objections or um, competition that's out there so that you're equipped and well prepared when you're having conversations in your business. So, or the team. And it, it, these videos, side point, are for people who find themselves leading sales and marketing decisions, either in their role um, as part of their day job or in their own business. So, I've worked with um, teams who are doing product marketing, they're thinking about lots of other things and just need support thinking about something specific. For the instance that came to my mind, it was micro-influencer marketing. They didn't have the expertise on hand, didn't have time to search and Google and figure stuff out. So they brought on me, an expert, to figure out what a micro-influencer campaign could look like. Could it look? Could it work for them? Yes, no, yes. Um, they needed someone else to implement it, to do the reach outs and to bring the people on board. And, um, and long story short, they had um, resources to measure the effect. And the effect was that they want to bring um, influencer marketing into their organization. So um, long story short, these are some templates that can you, you can use to help figure out your messaging, um, your, even your battle card template, which is super important, um, your customer journey map, how do you fit into their ecosystem of life? Um, do you, are you even a blip on their radar? If not, um, how can you change that? Content, your content strategy will also be informed by this. Um, as points on the journey, do they have reference points that educate them on why <clears throat> you would be a benefit to their lives? So it's just something to think about. And then, of course, um, the all-important um, persona. So I'm going to leave a link here. You can click through this and look through that. Um, one moment, let me just switch over to something else. Okay, so you might say, Amelia, this is all fine and good, um, but I think I might need more than a, a worksheet to figure out you know, how this could look and work in real life for my company, my organization, my team, my business or, or whatnot. Um, so um, Asana. Asana is a tool that I've used for myself, I've used it for clients and um, it's been used on organizations of various sizes, especially for those of us in the small or uh, micro um, size business, small business and uh, medium, I would even go to say maybe a medium. I'm not quite sure, but definitely know for small to uh, medium businesses, this is actually absolutely a thing that works well. So um, Google is your friend, right? When it comes to figuring out what tools are out there and how they might be able to be used in real life. Um, Asana, I just Googled Asana for product marketing teams and then um, the product uh, marketing manager role, of course. So when I scroll down, I mean, this gives you a great um, definition of um, what that looks like, what product marketing looks like. And then when I scroll down to a guide example, um, how to create a product marketing launch project in Asana. So um, just to, for reference point, you absolutely can have a very um, simple and basic project plan right here on a one-sheeter. 
And as you put in, put different roles and timelines in place, things will be moving around. People will be exchanging information. Um, and this isn't necessarily a place for people to move around and exchange information with one another, obviously. Asana is a great workspace to do that. And so I'll just click here and that will take us to um, a product marketing launch plan right here, ready to go. And I don't wanna say it's that easy and um, it's not all that hard. So long story short, it takes you through how to create a product marketing launch plan right here in Asana. If you're wondering about what parts of your product launch plan should be included or what you know components you should have, or if you're curious about any of that, again, go back and reference um, Tom's information here, um, click through the templates, and also Asana gives you information too. So there is even an area for you to, I believe, download a template, a ready-made template. And I don't want to take you through all of that or me looking for that information. But um, of course, I support people with um, figuring out what their visibility project launch will look like or their marketing um, product launch or their um, product or service launch will look like. And I also want you to be aware of the information that's already out there for free. Slash, I think in order to download a template, you might need the paid version of Asana and that can be absolutely worth it to you. So I'm gonna leave this here with you. If you have any questions about how this could look for you and your business, or if you're on a um, product marketing team and you're already dealing with a lot of other stuff and you don't really have time to dedicate towards a new feature, um, marketing around a new feature or something like that, um, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to talk through it as much as I can with you. And that's also what teams hire me to do to help them figure that out. But in any case, everything starts with a conversation. I am over on LinkedIn as Amelia J. Roberts, collaboration expert, um, visibility practitioner, and um, Amelia J. Roberts there. My email is Amelia, A-M-E-L-I-A, A-M-E-L-I-A, at solutions by Amelia. Com. I'm also on Clubhouse Instagram Twitter as talk the number two Amelia. That's talk to Amelia and um, probably a few other places around there. But I'd love to connect with you. If anything was helpful and useful, um, please let me know that as well. If you have any specific questions, please leave those in the um, comments below and I will answer them as best I can. All right. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And again, I want to close with this reminder. It's a quote from Reid Hoffman. He is the LinkedIn co-founder, a guy who knows a thing or two about opportunities, um, marketing, and getting out there in a large way. And his quote is this, Opportunities do not float like clouds in the sky. They are firmly attached to individuals. So if you are looking for an opportunity, you are really looking for people. So I'll leave that quote with you and happy um, opportunity finding, um, happy lunch um, planning, happy people finding. And I hope you are well. Take care.